Have you ever wondered how this guy is supposed to be king of this nation? How would you tell it? By his looks? By his weapon? By his crown? Today we figure out how to rework Jarvan so that he can become what his title says. The Exemplar of Demacia. Jarvan IV of Demacia learned from a young age the moral value of charity, the solemn burden of duty and the honor of a life spent in service of one's people. As he grew, he was also introduced to the history and politics of Valeran by his father Sinjal Sinjao. Hailing from distant Ionia, this loyal protector taught the prince about the world's more spiritual philosophies, as well as the myriad arts of war. The prince has a natural tactical instinct, vigilance, and is the cornerstone to decide the future of Demacia. Without going too deep into what Demacia is, the state was founded during the Rune Wars, a cataclysmic magical event. A lot of refugees fled to the destruction and when they came to a forest, they realized that the mages that followed them could not use their magic once they came near it. With this wood, they learned to create stone and iron with the same capabilities and became a relative reclusive country and kingdom. In the 1000 years, their land prospered. During the last generations, the political power of the mage seekers grew and with them fear of mages and magic. Demacia has the best trained soldiers in Valoran. These people are very skilled, determined and disciplined. Jarvan's family, the Light Shields, are the royal family of Demacia. This is Jarvan and Leek, this is Jarvan and Wild Rift, and this is Jarvan and Lore. The good thing, the design is cohesive. The bad thing, it's not Demacian. Let me elaborate. Jarvan's design comes from 2011, long before the Demacian design was made. This is what his current design is built upon. The concept is Dragon King, something, something gold, bone and skull. The good thing is that later on his design got more metallic and his design was sleeked to fit modern League's aesthetics. While looking at his design I wanted to focus on two things. First I wanted to revisit his shoulder designs, second I wanted to increase the connection to Demacia and lastly his dragon theme should somehow be reimagined. To clarify I think Jarvan could keep his current model or reimagined idea in better quality as a skin, similar to Body Bear and the Thousand Pierced Bear skin. Name him Prince Jarvan IV, because he already has a Dragon Slayer skin, and make the splash art him battling Shivana's mother. And most importantly, move the story and design further with a new design, similar to Captain Fortune. And developing the design further, that's what we do now. First, I did a few explorations of Jarvan in Demacian armor. My goal with Jarvan was relatively straightforward. So I didn't need to go as broad as with Thrindomer, exploring all kind of themes. That way my explorations focused on figuring out a way to make Demacian armor more royal. Eventually I decided to go somewhere between take 1 and 5. With this decision in mind, I started sketching the overall design and I quickly realized that Jarvan needed a good mixture between armor and non-armor to stay flexible when working with his spear. Therefore, I left his arms in chainmail, that should later on evolve into overlapping scale armor, adding some blue and gold accents, color-coded him as in Demacian. The important thing about working at his armor is making it shine. Demacian armor is absolutely well polished. You can go with a bit dull steel when in Ionia, Targon or the Shadow Isles, not to mention Noxus, but Demacian steel resembles the light qualities of petricide and the stone native to the country. Here you can see the base design of his armor. The sketches above the armor are already in place to figure out where to go with it. And next up you can see the general idea of the armor. I added some golden elements, but it was important to not overdo the hue. And there we come to a general problem I have with Jarvan and also the direction Lore pushed Demacian nobility. So why am I that unhappy with Jarvan and want to redesign him? The reason is because I was there when Demacia got changed. Imagine it. Before you only have high aristocratic middle Europe, you know what to expect and it closely resembles the blue, gold and silver of Warhammer and Warcraft. And then 2017, now six years ago, Riot reintroduced Demacia. A state with architecture made of white stone, compelling and three-dimensional design, it suddenly had its unique spin. 
Demacia's capital has delicate crafted architecture and the whole nation seems to have become a defendable fortress. And then you see the concept of Demacian soldiers. Polished, stylish armor, full metal helmets. The lines in the design are organic but concrete and follow a direction. Demacians combine form and function without sacrificing either because their steel is the strongest and the lightest at the same time. And then there's Jarvan. And he simply put, does not share this design. A king can look different, but give me Jarvan and I would more likely put him into the reckoning pits in Noxus. Or why don't we recolor his spandex and add a few straps of white and now he looks like a warrior king from northern Shirima. Or dip him in red and suddenly he looks like a Solari warrior from Targon. In the depiction of kings and rulers, it is common to reverse the color scheme of the faction. The Emperor and Darth Vader in Star Wars, in contrast to the Stormtroopers, Jake's Wet Toruk, in contrast to mostly blue Ikrans of the other Navi, but for Jarvan, this idea would mean to go the road Lore has taken, making Jarvan shining gold and changing the design to something like his father's. For a long time, I didn't know what was annoying me about it, but then I realized the gold is too warm. Demacia has a relatively cold hue in their design and the Demacian King's designs look shiny and all, but I think it goes into the direction we have to make a king. What do you think is a good idea? Gold. Gold everywhere. The other problem is that we are going back into the territory of Warcraft Kings. With blue, gold and silver, you have to be very careful, but I think staying in the emblems colors can make a huge difference. The next thing that I had to solve was his helmet, and helmets in League are absolutely important. As a top-down game, the helmet can make or break the design. And have you ever seen Avatar, The Last Airbender? Well, I guess we have to accuse the Fire Nation not only of conquest, but also of theft of an ancient Demas in Erlum. And putting the crown on his new design feels out of place, so I went with another right design of a Jarvan concept, but I think this one seems a bit simple. Then I tried another one that went a bit more into the dragon horn direction, but it still didn't fit right. So the final design went like this. It was important to create some visual interest and included darker tones to the Demacian symbol. By now the design is very light, but needs some more dark accents to counter the shiny armor. And here I went with the Demacian symbol that is contrasted by a reflective dark blue. This helmet looks royal and embeds typical Demacian symbols like sword and wing. With the helmet done, I have also changed the cloak to gold to clean up the design. Before I continue, I want to show a few more possible color combinations. We have the dark blue hue and the pale gold. I can still see right going in one of those directions, so I wanted to show them to you. Now we have to tackle two things about Jarvan. First up, Jarvan owes his life to Shivana the Half-Dragon. Mortally wounded by a Noxian arrow, Shivana found him and carried him back to the Demacian fort. There, while he healed, they got to know each other, and even though the Demacians are skeptic towards magical creatures, Shivana proved kind and a friend. She herself was hunted by the great elemental dragon Eva, her mother, and the beast arrived at the horizon. Jarvan saw an opportunity to redeem himself and to aid his Shivana. Still wounded, he rallied the Demacian outpost and with their help, Shivana in her dragon form defeated Eva. There, Jarvan saw that Demacian strength was standing together as one in defense of the homeland, no matter the differences on these givings. He promised Shivana a home and a place in his guard. And with the dragon skull in tow, Jarvan journeyed to his father's court in triumph. And it seemed like with his growing fondness of Shivana, his stance on magic could result in a more tolerant way, but then the mage rebellion happened and Jarvan was nearly executed and his father murdered. Since then the prince's view towards magic has hardened a lot and it is left to be seen how the fate of Demacia will be decided. For this rework it means the following. I suppose the horns of Jarvan's armor are taken from Eva's school, so I thought is there any way to incorporate the horns lore-wise? When looking at Jarvan's kit, he always had his shield. Shields are normally made through some kind of magic or technological means. Vi and her Atlas gauntlets, Camille and her applications, Lux with her magic barrier, Yon as blade, 
than set with his Vastayan powers. Jarvan fits in neither category, but Demacia always had some hypocrisy and here we could move his story forward. What if in the Roaring Rebellion the Demacian military develops some shield based around patricide? If you are familiar with the Nibelung saga, Siegfried, the hero of the tale after slaying the dragon, baths in his blood and his skin receives the properties of the dragon's hide. As I don't want to power creep Jarvan, I had the idea to instead give him a device that harnesses the magical defenses inside the dragon's horns and releases them in the form of a shield. If you think that is too much, I can totally understand this, and this can also be simply some kind of regalia or trophy. Now that we finished his model, it is time to take a look at Drakebane, the extremely awkward spear of Jarvan. I made some concepts for different kind of spears, some of them high fantasy, some of them more reduced. Jarvan's spear is so hard to master that it is lethal to use if untrained. In game, the spear can stretch and I thought about a building on that. What if Jarvan's spear would also grow in width, not only in size, so that he could use it more like a halibard to pierce and slash, and the hilt features dragon marks to honor its name. And now we are ready for Jarvan to take on his new armor. And for anyone wondering how the shield effect would look like, first imagine some flames around his armor, which are pressed away through a shield that stays for a short amount of time. It was a pleasure making this redesign. If you like this video, check out my channel, where I make more flaps. This was Artis, and I'll see you in the next video.